Now. Now, in the Sechtek Subis, Tav Kuf Yud, these next few blot are for all the religious Zionists in the audience because it talks about the love of Eretz Yisrael. Sholosh Archus Saint Lini Nesu Metoch Eretz Yisrael. Sholosh Archus Nesu. The three different lands within Eretz Yisrael that define a certain area. Yehuda, Judea, Avra Yardim, the east of the Jordan, Vagolil, and the Galil. Now, a moitzin me'ir le'ir u'mikrach le'krach. Normally, you can't take your wife or force her to move from a city to a big city or, or vice versa. Aval be'oisar, it's moitzin me'ir le'ir u'mikrach le'krach. As long as you, if you remain in the same region, Judea, Avra Yardin, or Galil, you can't force your wife to go from a big city to a little city. What, what daf is it again? What daf? Kuf what? Kuf Yud. Shim, we're going to the B now. <laughs> but even in the same land, you cannot move them from a city to a big city or a big city to a smaller city. You can move your wife from a nice house to a beautiful house. You cannot move her from a nice house to a bad house. You can't go from a bad house to a good house. A change of mokom sometimes leads to suffering. So sometimes you can't force her to move either. So the Gemara analyzes. I understand why you can move somebody. You can't move somebody from a big city to a little one. In a big city, you can find everything. It's not as convenient. Why can't you move from a, you know, Akron, Ohio to Cleveland, Ohio? Living in a crowded big city is hard. It says in the The people who volunteered to live in Yushalayim were given a special bracha because it's hard. My boy What does it mean you get sick? Changing a place. is the start of getting intestinal illness. Kosov the Sefer Ben Sira. Ben Sira is a Sefer written about 200 BCE. Some say he was the descendant of Yirmiyah Nati. He wrote wisdom literature, it was not put in Tanakh, but it's mentioned in Shas in many places. It says, All the days of a poor person are bad. But the more asks, How can it be bad? You have good food, Shabbos and Yontiv. Because for a poor person who normally doesn't eat good food, when he eats good food on Shabbos and Yontiv, it's bad for him too. Ben Sira Oimer, Af Leilois. Beshefel Gagim Gago. For a Oni, his house is usually in the lowest part of the city. Uvim Rom Arim Karmo. And his vineyard is on the highest place. Minter Gagim Lagav, the rain goes from high to low and ends up on his, his roof. Who may offer Carmel Karmel, his good fertilized ground drops to the other vineyards below him and he loses out on that. Mishnah. Hakol Malin Lert Yisrael. Everybody can force his family to make Aliyah. But in Hakol Motzim, you can't force people to leave Eretz Yisrael. You can force anybody to move to Yerushalayim, but not leave it. Men to women, women to men. The Gersh of Yisrael. He married a woman in Israel, divorced her there. Now the Ksub is paid. He pays her with uh, money coined in Eretz Yisrael. He married her in Eretz Yisrael and divorced her in China. 
he still pays her with money where the shibud began, which is in Eretz Yisrael. He married her in Chicago, divorced her in Israel, pays her off the ksuba in because the mile of Eretz Yisrael. No, he says if he married her uh, in Chicago, he can pay her with Chicago money. And then the Mishnah concludes, there's no machlokes. Who does that come and include? Even in Eved Ivri, the master can force him to make Aliyah. There's another Mishnah which mentions Avodim distinctly. What's the Hakol That even if his, he has a mansion in Chicago, but a little tiny hovel in Eretz Yisrael, you can force him to move to Eretz Yisrael and live in a worse house. You can't force them to leave Eretz Yisrael. To include an Eved that escaped Eretz Yisrael, you can't force him to leave. Sell him and let him stay in Eretz Yisrael. Sell him and let him stay in Eretz Yisrael. You live in a mansion in Tel Aviv. You can force your wife to move to a, a hovel in Yerushalayim. You, if a person cannot be forced to leave Yerushalayim to Tel Aviv, even though he's moving to a mansion. And stylistically, it's kept the same. <laughs> the husband wants to make aliyah, the wife doesn't. Bezdin forces her to make aliyah. If she refuses, she gets a divorce, but without a ksupa. She wants to make aliyah, he doesn't. We force him to make aliyah. If he doesn't want to make aliyah, he has to give it a get and give her a ksupa. He omers lot says for Marshall Law Lot says. The wife wants to leave Eretz Yisrael. He says to stay. We force her not to leave. And if she wants to leave, she gets a divorce and no ksuba. Who Omer Lot says for Marshall Law Lot says. He wants to leave, she doesn't. We try to force him to stay. If he wants to leave, he gives her a divorce and he pays the ksuba. The Gemara says, "Nasi Isha, Agufa Kasha, Tani Nasi Isha Bert Yisrael." He married her in Eretz Yisrael. Gersh of a Kapotka divorced her in Chicago. Noisin Lomim Moser Eretz Yisrael. You pay her off with money, Eretz Yisrael money. Ama Bosser Shibud as it. We go after where the Shibud was established. They got married there. That's the Shibud. Ema Seifa, Nasi Isha be Kapotka. You married her in Chicago. The Gersh of Eretz Yisrael. You divorced her in Tel Aviv. No, so the most hurt you saw, you pay her off with Israeli money. Alma Basar Guvainos, I mean, you see, you pay her off where she's going to collect it. It's a leniency on the Baal, on both sides, because so you can always be makel by the Ksuba. Rav Shimon says that. If you married her in Chicago and you divorced her in Israel, he said you can pay her with Chicago money. Ksava, Ksuba Doraisa. Because he holds Ksuba Doraisa. So wherever the Shibud started, it started in Chicago, you have to pay her with Chicago money. Tanrabot. Amotzi Star Choval Chavero. Person presented a, a, a note to, that you owe me a thousand dollars. Kosuf Bavel, and the star was written in Bavel. Magvei Mimos Bavel, you could demand to be paid in Babylonian money. Kosuf Boretz Yisrael, if it's written in Eretz Yisrael, Magvei Mimos Eretz Yisrael. Kosuf Bostam doesn't say, doesn't say where. So, if it was presented in Bavel, 
Magbeer bimos bavel. Let's see where it's from. Magbeer bimos where it's from. Because of all kinds of stam, it doesn't. It just says general money. Marshiyir to love a magveyu. Whatever the le- whatever the borrower wants to pay back, co- small coins, it's his choice. Masha ain't came big And what does that mean? Ah, yo, Om Rav Shnei Shareisha. A fluke of Rav Shnei Gamliel. Dom Rav Shuba Doraisa. That it's midra bonon. That we we get a cool on both sides, like we learned. Because of all kinds of stuff, Masha Yirtz Elovim Magvei. The lend the borrower gets to pay with with whatever type of money he wants, if it was left unsaid. Amanaska, maybe it doesn't even mean money. Maybe it's like a gold bar. We're about, it says clearly coinage. Ama priti. Maybe I can give him like a simonim, like a token. On Rav Papa, priti the Kaspalovidian sheet. It's made out of silver. They didn't do that. Now comes beautiful Agarita. Loilam Yodur Odom Bert Israel. A person should always live in Eretz Yisrael. Afilu bi'ir shiruv v'nochrim. Even in Bethlehem or Nazareth, where the majority are going. While yonder v'chutzlaretz v'afilu bi'ir shiruv v'yisrael. Don't live in chutzlaretz, even in the city where the majority are Jews. Shekol adar b'Eretz Yisrael doyme k'mishi yesh lo l'kah. Wow. Whoever lives in Eretz Yisrael, he has a God. It's as if he doesn't have a God. I gave you Eretz Canaan to have a God. How could that be? If you live in Chutzrat, it's like you worship the Vodazar. We learned this in Shmuel. When he was chased out of Eretz Israel by Shaul, he felt like he was going to worship foreign gods. I'm going to save this story, Rav Zera, because it begins a new sugya for tomorrow in, uh, in Shul. I want to give everyone time to prepare for Shabbos. So we'll be able to learn tomorrow at 4.30. Shkoyach, shkoyach, beautiful Agarita, beautiful yep. Gomorrahs. It'll be even shkoyach. nicer tomorrow. Nicer tomorrow. Okay, shkoyach. Uh, Have shkoyach. a good Shabbos.